Ryan. Get yours today at your favorite Kemper store. Treatments invented at St. Jude have helped push the overall childhood cancer survival rate from 20% to more than 80% since it opened 50 years ago. And we won't stop until no child dies from cancer. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. You're watching Eastern and Southern Kentucky's number one source for news. Mountain News First at Four with Steve Hensley and Skylark Weather with Shane Smith. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. First at Four, stopping the pop train. That is the task Hazard police officers have in front of them. HPD is one of the first law enforcement agencies in the state to test a pilot program to fight food stamp fraud. WIT's Brittany Nada talked to Chief Miner Allen about the program. She's in the newsroom with more. Brittany? Steve, it's commonly known as the pop train when food stamp benefits are exchanged for cash. Now the Hazard Police Department is testing a new approach to catch the traffickers. Chief Miner Allen says his officers will be undercover at stores in Perry County on the lookout for people who purchase a suspicious amount of certain items with food stamps. He says they will be trying to identify and prosecute people who then sell these items to other retailers. You know, that's uh, long been a, a, a problem, you know, that uh, it was intended to, to feed their families, and if it's not being used for that, then, you know, they need to take some kind of steps or measures to make sure it is. Mm -hmm. The program is operated by the Division of Family Support of the Cabinet for Health and Family Services. Chief Allen says the department was awarded a $50,000 grant for the year-long pilot program. He adds that since the program started at the beginning of the month, there have already been